Nova, guess what? My dream is finally coming true. I'm so excited. This must be the happiest day of my life, no kidding. Oh, really? I'm glad to hear it. What is it that makes you so happy, Mom? Well, it's about your sister, Nancy. She's trying to tie the knot with Jake, her affluent boyfriend. Wow, that's amazing news. I'm so happy for Nancy and Jake. They'll make a great couple together. I know she's been looking forward to this day for a long time, and now it's finally here. Did she have any plans for the wedding yet? I know there are a lot of things to consider, like the music, decorations, venue, and other details. Just remember, I'm always willing to assist Nancy in any way I can. Yeah, I told Nancy to take her time and not to rush. After all, your dad and I will help her take care of everything. As you know, she'll be the bride, the star of the show, so I don't see any reason why she would bother herself with the details of the wedding. It's good to know that you and Dad care for Nancy so much. I'm sure she's just as thrilled as I am right now. Well, of course we have to take care of her. She's our favorite child and also the younger sister in our family. It's only natural for Nancy to receive all the attention from your dad and me. However, please don't be too upset or think that she's stealing all your spotlight, Nova. If you manage to be less of a slob and get yourself a good catch like Jake, Maybe you'll get a chance to become something in my eyes. <laughs> but of course, what can I expect from a lard ass like you? You're just too pathetic for your own good. Huh? What are you talking about? Why are you suddenly speaking this way? So, this is what you've been thinking of me all along? I can't believe it. I thought we had a fairly good mother-daughter relationship. What happened? Did I do something to offend you? Good relationship? Well, sorry to break it to you, but I was just faking it. All this time I was just trying to be nice to you, but from the bottom of my guts, I hate you. I never thought you are good enough to be my daughter, honestly. You're too unattractive, clumsy, and overweight for your own good. To put it simply, you're utterly useless as a woman. Mom, what's with all the hurtful words? I haven't done anything to deserve this. I seriously don't understand why you're acting like this. I know I'm not perfect, but I'm trying my best to be a better person every day. Stop playing dumb. You know why I'm acting like this. You're already in your 30s and haven't even managed to find yourself a husband. Women like you are completely repulsive, but it's understandable, isn't it? I mean, who in their right mind would even consider associating with a lardass like you? Even the useless losers would flee at the mere thought of being intimate with you. Wow. So this is what you truly think of me, Mom? I'm really shocked. I thought you were a better person than this. That's not all, Nova. I can go on and on about how useless and unlovable you are. But it'll be a waste of my time. I'm not going to waste my time beating around the bush. You're not welcome at my daughter's wedding with Jake. It's not a big ask, really. Just go somewhere else and stay as far away from me and Nancy's wedding as possible. It's that simple. I'm sure I made it abundantly clear so that a flat-brained like you can understand. Excuse me? You don't want me there at Nancy's wedding? You can't just exclude me from her big day like this. Just tell me the truth, Mom. Have I done something against you? Seriously? How can you possibly sink any lower into stupidity? Are you now so dense that comprehending human language is beyond your reach? I want you to stay out of your sister's wedding. And the reason? You're a high school dropout, you barely have a career of your own, and you're a disgrace to our family. Yes, it's true that I dropped out of high school. But so what? I still manage to take good care of myself, and I'm fully responsible for my own expenses. I don't need to depend on anyone for financial support. Just because you take care of your useless self doesn't mean you're good for anyone around you. If you were to set foot at Nancy's wedding, it would bring embarrassment upon all of our family. Just take a moment to admire Nancy's future spouse. 
So perfect, isn't he? Good looking, resourceful, and most importantly, the owner of a thriving business. As a result, your sister's wedding will attract a distinguished crowd consisting of the elite and individuals of high social status. Yes, what about that? Now, just picture the scenario. What if someone at the wedding were to discover the truth about your job or academic background? Can you even begin to fathom the impact it would have on our family? Our family's reputation would be completely tarnished all because of you, a useless high school dropout. I don't think many people would think that way. Besides, being a high school dropout doesn't mean I'm useless. More like the opposite. I do have a job and I love what I'm doing. I also earn a good income. So I don't see any reason why you should be ashamed of me. So what? You're still an uneducated slob who couldn't even finish high school. You make our family look bad. Just do as I say and stay out of Nancy's wedding. It'll be better for everyone if they don't have to see you. I don't know why you keep bringing this up now. I'm happy and successful, and that's all that matters. If you have a problem with my educational background, then that's your problem, not mine. Besides, it's not your right to decide whether or not I get to attend Nancy's wedding. Did you even ask Nancy's opinion about this? Or did you just go ahead and decide everything by yourself? Why do I even need to hear my daughter's opinion about this? I'm her mother, so of course I get to decide everything for her. After all, everything I've ever done is only for my daughter's own good. And I'm sure she'll agree with me on this. Look, Nancy, it's going to have a fabulous wedding of her life, which will help to boost our family's social status. We don't want someone of your low class to make an appearance at the wedding. It would be a huge humiliation to all of us. I already told everyone that I only have one daughter, which is Nancy. So technically you don't even exist. I'm not sure why you're calling me low class, even after I explained to you very clearly that I earn a good income every month. I don't care how much you earn. It's probably pocket change compared to Jake's income. If you were to brag about it with everyone at the wedding, they would probably laugh in your face anyway. Oops, my bad. You're not even invited to the wedding anyway. <laughs> to be honest, in the most ideal world, I would want you to cut ties with our whole family completely. This way, no one would ever find out about us being related and you wouldn't have to hear any more insults from me. So what do you say? It's a win-win situation, don't you think? Look, Mom, I don't want to waste any more time reasoning with you. It seems like my words just go in one ear and out the other. I'm going to have a word with Nancy about her opinion on all of this. Hi, Nancy. Are you there? I have something important to talk to you about. I hope this isn't a bad time for you. Oh, hi Nova! Of course, it isn't a bad time. I'm free at the moment. Besides, you know I'm always willing to listen to your story no matter what, right? So just tell me, no need to be so concerned like that. Well, I don't know where to start, but I just talked to mom and she acted really strange. I don't even know where she got all these ideas from. I'm really shocked and upset at what I just heard and I need your opinion right now. Really? What could mom possibly have told you that's bothering you so much? You know, she's always been a little overprotected of me. And it's been like that ever since I was born. I tried my best to talk her out of it. But it seems like she still refuses to take in what other people say to her. I hope you're not too sad about mom's behavior. Yeah, I could understand if she was just overreacting a little bit because of your upcoming wedding. But it doesn't seem to be the case. At first, she talked to me using really harsh words. I don't want to say this, but she literally insulted me mercilessly. She told me that I'm a high school dropout, which means I belong to the low class and I would humiliate everyone at your wedding. What? Seriously? Did mom say that to you? 
How could she? She knows very well why you had to drop out of school. It was because you had to help our parents take care of the expenses in our family since both mom and dad were unemployed. I always appreciate your huge effort to help me pay for my tuition. It's thanks to you that I was able to attend college and finish it. Honestly, my blood boils just by hearing what you told me. Mom shouldn't have said anything like that to you at all. Well, that's not all. Mom also specifically told me that she doesn't want me to be at your wedding with Jake. Not just once, but repeatedly. She even said to me that she wants me to cut all ties with our family and go somewhere far away so that no one would know that we're related. That's it. I can't take this anymore. I understand that mom wants to protect me, but this is too much. You're an important member of our family and deserve nothing but respect. I've always looked up to you as my sister. What mom needs to do is to show you more respect. Really? Thank you, Nancy. That's really kind of you. I'm glad you feel that way about me. It warms my heart. When I found out what our mom truly thinks of me, I was shocked. I thought I was a black sheep and that no one in our family would care about me. What are you talking about? You still have me and dad. You know we'll always be here for you no matter what, right? Look, mom was just being overdramatic. Maybe she didn't think through what she was saying before she said those things to you. I want you to know that you are not alone. You never have been and you never will be. You're welcome at my wedding. Jake and I will be glad to have you there. I don't know, Nancy. Are you sure mom will be okay with it? I just don't want her to make a fuss and ruin your special day. Don't worry. Dad and I will convince her to apologize to you directly. Rest assured that mom will warmly welcome you there as well. Oh, one more thing. Jake and I are planning to have the wedding take place at a wonderful restaurant located on a hilltop. It's a little far up from the city center, but I've already taken a look at it. It has a stunning view and great facilities. I know you love it there. Really? That's amazing. How long do you think it'll take to travel from my house to the restaurant? Well, from what I can see on the map, it will take about 7 to 8 hours to drive there. Do you think you can manage? Wow, that's a bit of a drive. But okay, I think I can make it. Don't worry, you don't have to overexhaust yourself. I know Dad would be glad to help transfer you to the restaurant where the wedding will take place. But don't worry, there is one month until the day of the wedding, so we still have plenty of time to think about the wedding arrangements. I still have tons of other arrangements to make, so do you think you can help me out? Of course, Nancy. I would love to help you out with the wedding. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Hi, Dad. Where are you? We're on the way to Nancy's wedding venue, but you told me that your car was running out of gas. You asked me to wait here so that you can go and find a gas station, but it's been over an hour since you left. Could you pick up the phone, Dad? Have you lost your way back here? I'm really concerned. It's getting dark and I'm in the middle of nowhere. Please call me immediately when you see my texts, okay? Dad, I'm really scared right now. You don't even know what just happened to me. There were some bad guys chasing after me. They almost caught me, but luckily I was able to fight my way out and free myself from them. I'm still on the run, Dad. Please come and help me. I'm afraid those criminals are still out there looking for me. I tried to contact other people, but they didn't answer my texts or calls. I also called the police, but I'm deep in the woods now to hide myself from the bad guys, so I'm afraid the police will have a hard time finding me. I hope nothing bad happened to you or our family, Dad. I'm really worried. If you receive my messages, please reply to me. Hi, Nancy. Guess what? The first phase of our plan was a complete success. I'm sure your pathetic sister has now completely disappeared from our lives. Nova was such a loser. She was totally fooled by your fake act of kindness. 
I played the role of the bad guy, forbidding her to join your wedding while you acted like a true hero protecting Nova from me. Of course, how could we not mention your dad's credit in this? He's the one who came up with the idea of driving Nova to an isolated place to later abandon her. Oh, everything went perfectly just as we planned. Now we're so close to achieving our goals, Nancy. So close. Now all that's left for us is to carry on with phase two and phase three of our plan. But it'll be a piece of cake now that Nova is no longer in the picture. Nancy, are you there? Why aren't you answering me? So that's the trap you and other people in our family have set? And you're saying that this is the first phase of your plan? Then what are the second and third phases? Tell me! Nancy, what are you talking about? We have already discussed our plan a million times. I thought you would have known all the details by now. The second phase should be our family moving in and taking over Nova's house. I can't believe a loser like Nova would own such a grand and beautiful mansion. It seems like what you told me was absolutely correct. She somehow does make big bucks. And finally, we're going to take over Nova's company too. <laughs> At first, I couldn't believe that Nova would be the CEO of a company. But now that I'm looking at her mansion, I have no choice but to trust what you told me. Wow. I can't believe you would be so cruel to your own daughter. You tricked me into getting in dad's car and had him abandon me in the middle of nowhere? Next, you're going to take over my house and company too? You, Nancy, and dad, you're all crazy. I'm your flesh and blood. How could you do such a thing to me? Are you even human anymore? Even criminals don't treat their own flesh and blood as cruelly as you did. Nancy. What's gotten into you today? You're acting really strange. You were so excited to execute this plan with me and your dad. What happened to you? Don't tell me that you suddenly want to withdraw and become a good guy. It's too late. We're in the same boat now, and there's no way to back down. Let's just follow what we've discussed, okay? I told you, we're only one step away from getting our hands on what we've wanted for a long time now, money and lots of it. Athena, do you really know who you've been texting until now? It's me, Nova. What? what? You, you are Nova? How could it be? I thought you were Nancy. I can't believe this. So you've been mistaking me for Nancy all this time, haven't you? That's why you accidentally revealed your evil scheme to me, isn't it? You're despicable, Athena. People like you don't deserve to have a child. But how could you still be here? I thought you had already gone missing. Why didn't you contact any of us? We've been worried sick about you. We've searched for you everywhere, but you were nowhere to be found. Worrying sick about me? Stop playing dumb. You just admitted your evil plan to me. You're not going to get away with this so easily. Neither is dad or Nancy. I guess you're also the ones who hired the criminals to hunt me down, right? What did you plan to do to me? Did you plan to eliminate me completely? Well, I'm warning you now. Don't even think of trying to hide or run away. You're all going to be held accountable for what you did to me. Nova, dear, what are you talking about? I didn't say anything bad to you, did I? The truth is... There's no such thing as an evil plan. I was just joking around with you. I didn't mean what I said at all. Tell me now, dear, do you actually take what I told you seriously? I suggest you don't bother because they're all just simply funny jokes I made up on the spot. Hmm, <laughs> funny jokes, right? They don't seem very funny to me. Nice try defending yourself, but no one jokes like that. If you're trying to find excuses to deny your crimes, please, come up with something more convincing. But what can I expect? You're practically a walking neon sign that says, I'm committing a crime against my own daughter. <laughs> How stupid of you. What? 
How dare you call me stupid? I am still your mother for crying out loud. At least show me some respect to the person who brought you into this world. I have never met any children who talk to their parents in that kind of manner. Seriously? After all the heinous crimes you committed against me? Now you demand respect from me just because you're the one who gave birth to me? Don't make me laugh, Athena. You and Michael are only parents in name. You never helped me during my difficult times. And now, just when my life is starting to look up, you want to snatch my house, my company, and everything I've worked hard for? What a shame. You and other people have gone through so much trouble trying to get rid of me. But you went and screwed everything up for everyone by mistaking me for Nancy and revealing your whole malicious scheme to me. Nova, I don't understand what you're trying to say. What malicious scheme? I seriously have no idea. Look, I'm glad you're okay. Everyone was searching for you, but couldn't find you anywhere. Where are you, Nova? Why haven't you come home yet? Just come home, honey. Me, your sister, and your dad are all waiting for you. Why should I go home? So you and other people can plot to harm me again? You know what they say. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. I'm not an idiot to be fooled again. Why don't you admit to your crime? Your mask has fallen off, so there's no point in trying to deny it any longer. Oh, sweetheart, what crime are you talking about? Oh, I see. You must be so worn out that your thoughts are all jumbled up. I truly sympathize with you, my dear. Let's just head home and come together as one big joyful family, just like the old days. Nope, I already told you, I'm not going home. Quit trying to deceive me with that phony tone of yours. You make me sick. Listen, Nova, I'm dead serious. Go home right now. Stop defying my orders. You're behaving like a spoiled brat. You know that? If you don't come home immediately, I swear I'm going to make you pay a heavy price. I'm not someone to be trifled with, Nova. Listen, Athena, I understand why you're desperately trying to push me to come home. You want to eliminate me once and for all, don't you? You're longing to silence me forever so that you can seize the fruits of my years of hard work. But hold your horses, because things aren't going to be that easy for you. I'm currently at the police station, and they are examining your text messages as we speak. They fully comprehend the gravity of the situation, and they're on their way for you, Michael and Nancy. What? The police? What are you blabbering about? What do the police have anything to do with this? Oh, I don't think so. The police have every right to interfere in this matter and arrest all the criminals involved, because it's a serious crime case. We're talking about organized crime, murder for hire, home invasion, corporate raiding, and more. I would be surprised if the police refused to interfere in this matter. Wow, with those series of serious crimes and conspiracy, you and the others will have a long time to spend in prison. No, no, no. I haven't committed any wrongdoing. Why should I be sent to prison? I'm innocent, I tell you. I lied before. None of what I said was true. You must believe me. If I were in your shoes, I wouldn't waste my time running or hiding. Your only slim chance of reducing your sentence is by genuinely admitting your guilt to the crime. Nevertheless, I assure you that I will hire a skilled lawyer to ensure our victory in this case. You, Michael, and Nancy will face the full weight of the law. I won't rest until justice is served. Oh, my dear, please. You don't have to go through with this. I'm your mother, the one person who loves you unconditionally and has always shown it. Surely you must remember all the struggles I endured to raise you into a beautiful and accomplished woman you are today, don't you? Why would you want to send your own mother to jail? It will only bring shame upon your reputation. I understand you're now a CEO of a prominent company, and it will do you more harm than good if you go out of your way to have your own family imprisoned, won't it? 
Oh, well, isn't this a sudden change of heart? Now I'm magically transformed into a beautiful and accomplished woman, huh? I guess you conveniently forgot about your previous remarks, calling me a lardass and useless daughter. How easily you seem to have forgotten about that. Seriously? Don't tell me that you're still holding a grudge against me for that. You're such a petty person if you do. You know I was just joking around with you. I didn't mean anything I said. Look, why don't we just set aside all the unnecessary misunderstandings and act like nothing ever happened? I mean, look at you. You're still alive and well, aren't you? So what's the big deal? You could take legal action against us if you were injured or dead, but we all know that's not the case. So why go through all the trouble of taking each other to court when we can all work things out peacefully? That's enough, Athena. Your attempts to defend yourself are futile. Save your words for the courtroom, where you'll face the consequences alongside your despicable daughter and husband. If I hadn't been fortunate enough to escape the clutches of those criminals and reach the police, I wouldn't be standing here today. My life was hanging by a thread. Your crimes are crystal clear, and I'm determined to bring you to justice. Prepare yourself, as the worst days of your life are still ahead. In the end, justice prevailed. My parents and sister were rightfully convicted of their numerous crimes and were sentenced to prison, where such monsters truly belong. Interestingly, Jake decided to call off the wedding with Nancy upon discovering my disappearance. Despite Nancy and my parents' desperate attempts to change his mind, he adamantly refused. He made it clear that I hold a significant place in the family, and he was willing to delay the wedding until the police located me. Jake's compassion undoubtedly saved him from a catastrophic mistake, namely becoming entangled with my sister Nancy. She is a deeply flawed individual, consumed by evil and deserving of a lifetime behind bars. As news of my case spread, the press pursued me relentlessly, seeking details of what transpired. Everyone expressed admiration for my resilience and bravery, which not only bolstered my personal reputation, but also enhance the standing of my company. I'm grateful for overcoming life's challenges and emerging stronger than ever.